Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Angel and today I'm going to show you how I make the best, easiest, most wonderful grilled cheese. That is vegan, of course. So, I actually only use three different things in my grilled cheese. I need bread. This is the Levin from Poigen. It's usurped Sudaisbra, which means it is unsweetened sour bread. And this is my favorite bread that you can get in a store in Denmark. So, yeah. I use this. Then I use BioLife uh, Mature Cheddar Flavor Slices, which is the fake cheese that we're going to use today. I love BioLife with all of my life. <laughs> that kind and I'm gonna use some vegan butter today I'm using this speed smirbar which is the butter you can get at nettle because speed is from nettle I think in Denmark but you can use any like vegan butter so yeah what I love about this is that it has a little bit of like salt in it so it has like crystallized salt in it I don't know if you can see but there's it's in it what we're gonna do I'm gonna put you in here so you can watch what I'm doing. Here is my little pan. It's small. Place for one bread. Thank you very much. And I'm gonna put it on high. No, I'm gonna put it on like medium, but a little higher than medium. I am gonna take some butter and put it in here. This is not like a healthy recipe at all. If you're interested in healthy recipes, I do. I do have some uh, healthier recipes on my channel that are not like this. This is more like once a month or something. I can't eat this at all, like every day, but it's very good. And if you're feeling like you need something that is good and like fatty, this is the perfect thing. But yeah, only once a month. It also breaks me out if I eat too much of this. Be aware. So then I'm gonna take two pieces of my favorite bread, which I love. It smells divine. Oh, I love it. And I'm going to prepare one slice of BioLife. BioLife, if you see this, hi, I love you. So I have prepared all of this and I have my little spatula or whatever it's called ready. So we're just gonna let that melt a little. And when it starts to bubble, like it does right now, you're going to put in your first... Oh! Actually put butter on the other side, I forgot about that. Uh, put butter on one side of this, like this. Just a tiny bit, not the entire thing, okay? When it bubbles, like it does right now, you're gonna put it in there. Do you hear? Mm -hmm. It's talking to me. And you're just going to like watch it become a little bit like golden brown. You can wait. Hello? <laughs> this is, again, this is like one of my easy recipes. Like, it's not really a recipe because I don't really make anything special. But it is something I do like on comfort days or you know, when it's raining, which is almost food right now. Um, like raining, cold, like if there's a, I was going to say tempest, that's not an English word. If there's a like hurricane kind of thing, storm, if there's a storm outside, this is the perfect food. I love this. I'm gonna wait a little more. When it looks like this, like this is the OG, this is after. You can turn it around. Oh, that sound? Perfect. I love this. So, when you've just like turned it a little round and stuff, oh, it needs more butter. This recipe requires a lot of butter. I don't know how much, it's just like, whenever you see that it's starting to like, you know, you need more butter and just put it down a little bit. Okay, and once it's like 
like this kind of i put it on a plate and i put the cheese on top mm -hmm, the cheese and while that is happening on the side i put more butter as i said a lot of butter in this this is not a good like healthy recipe but if you crave something like very fatty this is perfect so yeah there are worse things to eat okay <laughs> I'm gonna put it down a little bit because I think it's too hot right now. And I'm gonna do that like this. Mm -hmm. So, ah! And we're turning it over. Voila. And waiting a little. So, what is going on with the other uh, piece of bread? As you can see, it's just laying with the cheese on top and it has kind of like the cheese has changed color, which is what the, what the slices of Violife does when it's warm, but it's not melting. But I'm going to show you my little secret tip because I have a little secret when it comes to like this recipe. So I'm going to put this on the plate and I'm going to take the one with the cheese and I'm actually putting it. Oh, wait. I am going to put it directly on the pan. And what I mean by that is the cheese part is going on the plate. Look at this. Put this and you do this, but only for a second, like one, two, and then we all scrape it back. And as you can see now, it's all melted and stuff and it's impossible to maneuver, really. Uh, I have problems here. I wish you could see this, but you can't, so just Trust me when I say this. And now that the cheese is melted, you're gonna put the the other side back on. And you're just going to like let it be there for like, I don't know, two minutes, one minute, not a long time. Voila. And we're gonna turn it off. Turn it on around. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay. I think it's over now. It ain't over till it's over. It says seal. <laughs> so, here's my plate. And here is the grilled cheese vegan sandwich. And we're just going to cut it like this. I have found out that when you when I cut things in triangular shapes, it tastes a lot better. So I'm excited to do that. How American. And then, woo, no cheese that it's melting, but it's so good. I promise. Okay, let's do a taste test. Thank you so much for the earth for making my food. Mmm. Oh. This is so good. This is so good. This is oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you and I'm gonna eat this in peace. Um and I will see you in my next video, I hope. I love you all so much, have a beautiful day, and also please tell me if you ever tried this out, I would love to know. Bye bye! Mwah.